Alrighty guys, welcome. My name is Jason from Tough Streeters and I'm sure you've seen this spicy VL in front of me now. But we figured we'll do, give you a quick rundown, but before we do, we'll take a trip back down Mamory Lane and we'll go see the previous owner of when he dropped this thing off and how much of a nug she really was. Hey guys, Jason here and I'm with Luca and we've got our latest giveaway that's up for grabs, the VL BT1. So give us a quick rundown on this car. I see we've got your VL Calais, we've got my VL Calais and damn, what is going on? Why are you selling this absolute beast to us? Um, it's time to sell this because it's time to put time into that. I did love this car but there's no room for two so I think it's... It's time to uh, time to move it on, and I think you guys are going to do pretty good with it. Give us a bit of a quick rundown on the history of this car. What's it got, and what have you done to it since you've had it? Tell us about it. So, from what I know, it was owned by an old lady, and it was bought by a guy in the country that got it for his son's 18th. Uh, painted it yellow, made it look all cool, but then his son didn't want a non-turbo Calais. Uh, sorry, a non-turbo VL. After he gave it to him for his birthday, he got sold the next day. Um, to the person that I bought it off. He had it for about 13 years and did most of the work that you see today. The work done to it's pretty, pretty standard work, front mount, high mount turbo, um, and a big ghost pipe. Oof. Other than that, there's not much to it. It's a pretty well looked after car, and it's good to know that the history of the whole car is known by pretty much everyone that's owned it, and now it's gonna go on to you guys, and hopefully someone will keep it for a long time after that and make it into an even bigger weapon than it is now. That's it, we've got a bit of a work ahead of us on this nugget, I should say. <laughs> She's a bit of a beast. But I do have to touch on the point that um, since you've owned this car, you've had done a couple of modifications that you told me about. One being this fantastic dent right here and there's another one in the boot. What's going on there, man? Yeah, so the bonnet came from shutting something in the bonnet and um, that one on the quarter, if anyone knows VLs, I know that there's nothing on the side of the boot, so the something was in the back and it rolled into the rear quarter and um, gave two nice love taps. It was a 12 inch sub, wasn't it, mate? Yeah, um, it wasn't even a sub, actually. It was just a bit of metal in the boot, unfortunately. Not what, what, song, what song were you playing there? <laughs> if, if you have a closer look at the car, you see that there's not even a stereo in it, and the song that I would have been playing would have been coming out of a big Bluetooth speaker in the back seat. <laughs> yeah, boy, but we all know that it would have been like, um, What's that song? Bloody uh, Muzz's Anthem or something like that, yeah. Or the, um, some hard style, some show oh, tech. Yeah, some hard style definitely got played in this car. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely, definitely saw some hard style. It's almost guaranteed we would have had the mad boot rattle and stuff yeah. like that. So um, either way, we will be cleaning this thing up. Um, the, all the paint will be done by Mini's Paint and Panel. We'll clean her up, make her brand new. There's a little bit of mismatch in paint going on. Typical VL things, but it's a very clean base, absolutely no rust, which we're stoked on. The interior, it's, it is a previous Berliner, um, so we will probably throw in um, like a standard steering wheel maybe, you know, the SL interior, I feel like that, that finishes the BT1, the BT1 mock uh, off quite nicely. Maybe a few little bumper cleanups, maybe some new headlights, who knows. But then under the bonnet, what have we got under there? Um, well, why don't you just have a look? Let's have a look, let's have a look. Got a big Chinese turbo, um, a high mount setup, big dose pipe, front mount plenum. There's a big front mount hanging underneath, and all your other VL bits and pieces that I'm sure Jason will make very nice for the next owner. That's it. She's uh, not looking too nice under there. I'm not gonna lie. There's a couple of cables going on, some China reg, China turbs. China potty, at least that's nice and fresh though. And a nice dose pipe there. There's a non-turbo motor we've got there. Uh, but non-turbo motors is my specialty. <laughs> We're thinking about going some E85, I reckon. Get rid of those injectors, put some big boys in there. Maybe get rid of that turbo. It does have a six boost manifold, so that's pretty hot. And just clean up fresh piping. Maybe even once we pull this stuff out, we can get that, that bay with a quick touch up, make it look a million bucks for whoever's going to win this piece. Oh, well, that's a quick rundown on the, on the BT1. And thank you very much for giving us this car. I know 
I somehow got in there when he chucked this up for sale and he's only around the corner, so that worked out real well. I was the first in, best dressed, and how many messages did you get? Too many messages. Um, I forgot who you were about 10 times just because of how many people were trying to message me, but no, it was all good, nice and smooth, nice and close. And uh, now it's here for the next person to enjoy. That's it. Hopefully we have some absolute legend like Rod who won the XT. He was absolutely stoked. That car should almost be to him now, but I think we changed his life. So I really hope that, you know, there's plenty of VL enthusiasts out there and, you know, people that had these as their first cars and all that sort of stuff that really want to get back in one. Even, you know, being the sort of ex-cop look-alike and all that sort of stuff. It's, uh, it touches a lot of people's hearts, I reckon. Definitely catches a lot of eyeballs on the road from um, normal people and cops. Cops love this thing, so <laughs> that's, that's all we want. Uh, that's enough about this thing. Let's give a quick rundown on your Calais. So this is my baby. This is the car that I love. Um, I got this thing in a similar situation to the other one. It was actually someone's daily driver since they were 18. Um, then it basically sat in their mechanic for about 10 or 12 years after it had been sitting outside for nine years. So it sat for a very, very, very long time. I bought it in pretty rough shape with terrible paint and rust and everything like that. I got all the paint and got it all done nicely and got it registered and um, I hold this thing pretty close to my heart. So that's why it's time to, um, to build this and say goodbye to the yellow one and welcome this and make this, into a, make this thing into an animal. That's it, mate. I'm really keen to see all that money go straight into this. Yes. And a nice forged motor and yes. uh, expect this to be dosing past the factories every day. It will be, hopefully. It doesn't blow up, but yeah, no, it'll be, uh, it'll be good. All right. Well, thanks for that, Luca, and nice to meet you, and thanks for selling us your car. No worries. Thank you. And good luck in the draw. All right, and now we're back, and we're here with the finished product. And I'll give you a quick rundown of everything we've done to it. So, of course, you can see the fresh, shiny, glossy paint, thanks to Mini's paint and panel. He's gone over all the all the dull bits, all the all the dinties, all the all that stuff is fixed it right up, and it looks absolutely immaculate. We've got new badges throughout. We've got new headlights, new trims, new pieces of bumper, and all resprayed as well. Um, and of course, under the bonnet, which is looking a bit nasty, we filled any holes for intercooler piping. Made a custom no-hole cooler cooler kit. Um, we sprayed the tubs. Uh, we got. 1,000cc uh, injectors and she's now running on E85. Uh, we've got the turbo rebuilt by Hypergear. Um, put a nice short intake and bigger intake and sprayed it black, it looks spicy. Resprayed the um, rocker cover and we actually pulled the head off. Uh, we put a new decomp head gasket. We did lifter bodies, we did valve springs. We put a custom ground cam, um, decked the head, slapped it all back in there with ARP 2000, I think, head studs. So she's ready to rock. And then we sent it down to Bogger at BSC Performance. And he tuned it up, um, pushing 17 PSI safe, making over 300 kilowatt. I think 305 kilowatt in the end, which is pretty bloody good. She definitely packs a punch. Got a new battery, new water thing, um, which just <laughs> changes these bays, having the new water, um, or the coolant overflow and all that, because they get nasty. Um, what else? Uh, we did an exhaust, so it dumped at the dip before. We ran the exhaust all the way through the back. You can have a quick look-see. The old dumpy, which you have to have on the VLs. We resprayed the drop tank under there. Um, the 85 litre long range tankers for the VL. Um, see the spicy badges. Um, obviously installed some tough streeter stickers because you have to. Um, we've got some 15 by 7 drag slicks with the center caps. They're street legal drag slicks, 255, yeah, 255, 60, 15. And then we got the um, the custom, I think they're 15 by 4 front runner interceptors with the, um, the Mickey Thompson uh, front runner tires there. A little bit of glass in the tires, Drew. Okay. <laughs> there we go, interior to finish her off. Had a full detail thanks to Pro Image Detailing. Um, and we got the turbo floor mats, of course. Uh, we put a head JVC head unit in it, didn't have one. And we got a reconditioned SL steering wheel, really hard to find actually. Uh, so we managed to get the factory steering wheel. And it just sort of finished, finished off the car. Fresh detail and she looks spicy. Oh, and a fresh windscreen. She was cracked. And genuine trims and all, that, all the good stuff. And a Tough Streeters banner. So jump on that, toughstreeters.com.au if you want a turbski banner. 
piston banner or rotor banner. Get around it. And that's pretty much it. She looks spicy now, how VL should. The perfect BT1 mock-up. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, if you want to get your entry in, you can. As little as 30 bucks. So get around it, support what we're about. Hopefully get some events coming to you soon. And um, we'll see you next time.